Hello everybody, welcome again to the English lessons on the Honor Satellite Channel. I wish you a nice time. أعزائي الطلاب أهلا بكم في درس جديد من دروس اللغة الإنجليزية عبر قناة الأمور الفضائية. أتمنى لكم مشاهدة مفيدة لمشيئة الله. Dear students, imagine you were in the sea or in the ocean and you got lost. What would you do in this situation? Or imagine you were in a car or in a taxi and you want to go to a certain place. What would you do in this situation too? These questions will be answered through our text which is entitled Finding the Way. Finding the Way. It's the title of our text for today. But before we go to the text, we are going to learn the new vocabulary. Because learning vocabulary is very important to understand English language. Now let's see the first one. Look, this picture shows many children who are flying kites. They hit the record last summer. Record. Record. الرقم القياسي. Record. Look at the next one. Look at this huge wave. It's a huge wave. 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 Moja. Wave. Look at the next one. We have a raft. Raft. Qarib Naja. Raft. Look at the next one. Here we have the GPS technology. GPS. GPS. فهو نظام تحديد مكانك في العالم. GPS. Look at the next one. Here we have position of the car. The position. 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 موقع. Position. Look at the next one. These computers are connected with each other in a network. 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 شبكة. Network. Look at the next one. Here we have a taxi driver. 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 سائق. Driver. Look, we have types of thermometers. Thermometers are used to measure temperature. Measure. Measure. يقيس. Measure. Look at the next one. We have a digital clock. It gives us Exact time. Exact. Exact. مضبوط أو دقيق. Exact. Look at the next picture. We have fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables are very useful for your body. Useful. Useful. مفيد. Useful. Look at the next one. We have a calculator. This calculator gives us accurate results. Accurate, accurate, دقيق, accurate. Now, dear students, let's revise all the words again. Please listen and repeat. Look. Record, record, رقم قياسي, record. Wave, wave, موجة, wave. Raft, raft, قارب نجاة. Raft. GPS. GPS. نظام تحديد الموقع في العالم. GPS. Position. Position. موقع. Position. Network. Network. شبكة. Network. Measure. Measure. يقيس. Measure. Accurate, accurate, دقيق, accurate. Useful, useful, مفيد, useful. Driver, driver, سائق, driver. Exact, exact, دقيق أو مضبوط. Now, dear students, let's do this activity to check our understanding of the new vocabulary. Look, fill in the spaces from the list. Fill in the spaces from the list using measured, waves, record, or network. والآن أعزائي الطلاب سوف نملأ الفراغات مستخدمين هذه الكلمات. 
ميجرد الماضي من الفعل ميجر يقيس ويفز امواج ريكورد رقم القياسي نتورك شبكه look at number one weave the distance and it's exactly 983 meters again weave the distance and it's exactly 983 meters what is the answer yes we've measured the distance and it's exactly 983 meters look at number two in some parts of the ocean can be as high as 20 meters or more again in some parts of the ocean can be as high as 20 meters or more what is the answer excellent it's waves so in some parts of the ocean waves can be as high as 20 meters or more look at number three a new team is going to try to break the world for rowing across the atlantic again a new team is going to try to break the world for rowing across the atlantic what is the answer very good it's record look a new team is going to try to break the world record for rowing across the atlantic number four every country needs a good road to let people get from place to place quickly and easily again every country needs a good road to let people get from place to place quickly and easily what is the answer excellent it's network every country needs a good road network to let people get from place to place quickly and easily dear students look at this abbreviation gps gps what is the gps what does gps stand for what do you know about this technology فما هي الجي بي اس وماذا تعرف عن هذه التقنيه we'll find answers after the break اراكم بعد الفاصل We'll come back. Now, dear students, look. GPS. What does GPS stand for? It stands for Global Positioning System. Global Positioning System. نظام تحديد المكان في العالم أو نظام التموضع العالمي. Now, what do you know about this technology? وماذا تعرف عن هذه التقنية? Now, we are going to watch a video to see the GPS and how it works. Let's see. GPS stands for Global Positioning System. It is a network of about 30 satellites orbiting the Earth. The system was originally developed by the US government for military navigation, but now anyone with a GPS device, mobile phone, or a handheld GPS can receive the radio signals that the satellites broadcast. نظام تحديد الموقع العالمي GPS هو نظام تابع لوزارة الدفاع الأمريكية. والذي تقوم عليه معظم التطبيقات المدنية المعروفة فهو يتكون من 24 إلى 32 قمر صناعي تحوم حول الأرض على ارتفاع 22 ألف كيلومتر يقوم القمر الصناعي ببث إشارة تحمل موقعه وكما تحمل توقيت لحظة بث الإشارة بدقة عالية ويقوم جهاز الاستقبال باستقبال الإشارات القادمة من القمر الصناعي كما يتم الاستقبال من قبل ثلاثة إشارات من ثلاثة أقمار مختلفة فإن نقطة تقاطعهم تحدد موقع جهاز الاستقبال. Wherever you are on the planet, at least four GPS satellites are visible at any time. Each one transmits information about its position and the current time at regular intervals. These signals traveling at the speed of light are intercepted by your GPS receiver, which calculates how far away each satellite is. is based on how long It took for the messages to arrive. GPS is a system that uses radio frequencies to find your exact location. A GPS receiver calculates its position by timing the signals sent by GPS satellites high above the Earth. 
Each satellite continually transmits messages that include the time the message was transmitted and satellite's position at time of the message transmission. ويتألف الجي بي اس من ثلاث شرائح وهي شرائح الفضاء والتحكم والمستخدم شريحة الفضاء تتألف من 24 إلى 32 قمر صناعي في المدار الأرضي المتوسط وهو يتضمن أيضا القاذفات المطلوبة لإطلاق هذه الأقمار إلى مدارها When a GPS receiver is switched on it listens to find the four nearest satellites to help calculate its location GPS can calculate your, your position, your position accurately and can tell you how far you have traveled, your current direction, your speed as well. والنظام المستخدم في السيارات يسمى نظام ملاحة السيارة ويكون عبر الأقمار الصناعية مصمم للعمل في السيارات ويستخدم هذا النظام عادة أجهزة ملاحة تعمل بنظام التموضع العالمي. للحصول على معلومات من موقع العربة على الطريق في قاعدة بيانات الخرائط ويحتوي نظام الملاحة على مظهر علوي للخريطة وخريطة تدور مع السيارة Dear students, welcome back I hope you enjoyed watching the video Now look at this activity Look at the title Look at the pictures Explain the relationship Look, here is the title And here are the pictures What is the relationship between the these pictures and the title فما هي العلاقة بين عنوان الدرس وهذه الصور I have a suggestion for you I think these sailors could find the way by using the GPS technology again I think these sailors could find the way by using the GPS technology now dear students let's start the text with the first part now we are going to listen and follow. Part 1. Listen and follow. Mark Stubbs and his team wanted to be the fastest to row across the Atlantic from Canada to Britain. On 8th August 2004, after 40 days and 3,000 kilometers, this record was nearly theirs. They were just 450 kilometers from land. Again, Mark Stubbs and his team wanted to be the fastest to row across the Atlantic from Canada to Britain. On 8th August 2004, after 40 days and 3,000 kilometers, this record was nearly theirs. They were just 450 kilometers from land. Now, dear students, let's go to the questions. Look, read and answer. What did Mark Stubbs and his team want to be? What did Mark Stubbs and his team want to be? Look, here's the text. Mark Stubbs and his team wanted to be the fastest to roll across the Atlantic from Canada to Britain. So here is the answer. Let's see the answer again. What did Mark Stubbs and his team want to be? They wanted to be the fastest to cross the Atlantic from Canada to Britain. Look. Part 2. Listen and follow. But that night there was a violent storm, and at 2.30 a.m. a monster wave smashed their boat and threw them into the sea. Luckily, they managed to save a small life raft, a satellite phone and their GPS from the sinking boat. They climbed into the raft and they used the GPS to find their position. Then they called for help. Again. But that night there was a violent storm and at 2.30 a.m. a monster wave smashed their boat and threw them into the sea. Luckily, they managed to save a small life raft, a satellite phone and their GPS from the sinking boat. They climbed into the raft and they used the GPS to find their position. Then they called for help. With the GPS information, a ship found them at 6.30 a.m and it carefully positioned itself between the waves and the raft. Then still in great danger, the men slowly climbed the side of the ship to safety. Mark and his men survived, and GPS technology helped them do this. Again, with the GPS information, a ship found them at 6.30 a.m., and it carefully positioned itself between the waves and the raft. 
then still in great danger, the men slowly climbed the side of the ship to safety. Mark and his men survived, and GPS technology helped them do this. Now, dear students, let's go to the questions. Question number one. What happened to the team's boat? What happened to the team's boat? Let's see. But that night, there was a violent storm, and at 2.30 a.m., a monster wave smashed their boat and threw them into the sea. So this is the answer. Look at the answer again. What happened to the team's boat? A monster wave smashed their boat and threw them into the sea. Now look at the question number two. What did they manage to save from the sinking boat? What did they manage to save from the sinking boat? Look. Luckily, they managed to save a small life raft, a satellite phone, and their GPS from the sinking boat. So here is the answer. Let's see the answer again. What did they manage to save from the sinking boat? A small life raft, a satellite phone, and their GPS. Look at the third question. How did the GPS technology help Mark and his team? How did the GPS technology help Mark and his team? Let's see. With the GPS information, a ship found them at 6.30 a.m. and it carefully positioned itself between the waves and the raft. Let's see the answer again. How did the GPS technology help Mark and his team? With the GPS information, a ship found them at 6.30 a.m. Again, with the GPS information, a ship found them at 6.30 a.m. Now, dear students, it's the break time. We still have more, but after the break. Welcome back. Dear students, we've talked about two parts of the text. Now we are going to have the third part. Please listen and follow. Listen and follow. Part 3. GPS uses a network of 27 satellites. These orbit Earth at 19, 300 kilo per hour. And the GPS on the ground can always see four or more of them. It measures its distance from each and from this works out its exact position. Again. GPS uses a network of 27 satellites. These orbit Earth at 19,300 kilo per hour, and the GPS on the ground can always see four or more of them. It measures its distance from each, and from this works out its exact position. Now, dear students, let's answer the questions. Look. How many satellites does GPS use? How many satellites does GPS use? Let's go to the text and see the answers. GPS uses a network of 27 satellites. So, here is the answer. GPS uses a network of 27 satellites. Now, let's see the answer again. Look, how many satellites does GPS use? It uses a network of 27 satellites. Now, look at the next question. How does a GPS work out exact positions? Again, how does a GPS work out exact positions. Let's see. GPS uses a network of 27 satellites. These orbit Earth at 19,300 kilo per hour, and the GPS on the ground can always see four or more of them. It measures its distance from each, and from this works out its exact position. Now, let's see the answer again. How does a GPS work out exact positions? A GPS can see four or more satellites. It measures its distance from each. Then it works out the exact position. It works out the exact position. Now, dear students, let's listen and follow to the fourth part of the text. GPS has been getting more and more accurate in recent years, and it has been helping more and more people. Car drivers, for example. GPS saves time and it has often saved lives. At around $200, it is cheap too. 
This is modern technology at its best. Again, GPS has been getting more and more accurate in recent years. And it has been helping more and more people. Car drivers, for example. GPS saves time and it has often saved lives. At around $200, it is cheap too. This is modern technology at its best. Now, dear students, let's go to the questions. How does GPS help people? Let's go back to the text and see the answer. Look, GPS has been getting more and more accurate in recent years, and it has been helping more and more people. Car drivers, for example, GPS saves time and it has often saves lives. So here is the answer. Let's see the answer again. How does GPS help people? Look, it saves time and it has often saved lives. Now, dear students, let's move to the next activity. Find opposites of the following words and phrases in the text. Look. At its worst, fewer and fewer, less and less, carefully, gentle, simple. This is the second group, complicated, at its best, more and more, carelessly, violent, and the last one more and more again. Now, dear students, let's match between these words and their opposites. Look. Simple is the opposite of complicated. At its worst is the opposite of at its best. Less and less is the opposite of more and more. Carefully is the opposite of carelessly. Gentle is the opposite of violent. The last one, fewer and fewer, is the opposite of more and more. Now, dear students, let's do the next activity, which is complete the sentences with pairs of opposites. Look, simple, at its worst, carefully, gentle. The second group, violent, at its best, complicated, carelessly. Look, A, GPS looks very difficult and to use. But it isn't. It's really very, and even a child can understand it. So let's see the answers. GPS looks very difficult and complicated to use, but it isn't. It's really very simple, and even a child can understand it. B. The sea is very dangerous. It is always very important to study the weather and watch for storms. People who act at sea often die. Let's see the answers. The sea is very dangerous. It is always very important to study the weather carefully and watch for storms. People who act carelessly at sea often die. Look at C. At one moment, the weather may be calm with just a gentle wind. But then, a violent storm can suddenly appear. Again, at one moment, the weather may be calm with just a gentle wind. But then, a violent storm can suddenly appear. Now, look at D. During our journey over the mountains, the weather changed a lot. It was sunny and warm. However, there also were terrible storms. Now, what are the answers? Let's see. During our journey over the mountains, the weather changed a lot. At its best, it was sunny and warm. However, at its worst, there also were terrible storms. Again, during our journey over the mountains, the weather changed a lot. At its best, it was sunny and warm. However, at its worst, there also were terrible storms. Now, dear students, let's go to the final activity, which is homework. Write some uses of the GPS technology. اكتب بعض الاستخدامات لتقنية الجي بي اس. 
Dear students, that's all for today. We learned about the GPS technology. I hope you learned and enjoyed your time. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you.